so today pupunta kami sa Domaketi kami ni Liam kasi bukas may appointment siya para sa passport so kukuha ko sa passport niya ang init no oh, sobrang init so may kadala akong bag sa likod ito sa harapan ko si Bibi ito yung laptop ko kasi kasi nga sasama sana si Axel sa amin kaso nga nawala yung charger niya no naghanap siya sa charger niya na bago yung bago ko kagating niya kahapon, kahapon ba bumili kasi yung charger para sa tablet ni Liam kasi hindi yun gumagana sa yung charger na yan is ano um minsan minsan nang ba guys ibig sabihin nun yung branded na charger niyo na yung tablet na hindi siya ano gumagana sa ibang charger yun lang kasi nawawala hinahanap niya kung saan sabi niya baka na, na sa mga kapatid ko kinina, nina, kinuha daw sabi ko isa lang naman ang mayroong cellphone si, si yung kapatid ko si Darrell so chat chat ko yung kapatid ko sabi niya wala naman dun sa kanya yung ibang kapatid ko wala naman silang cellphone no so galit na galit siya no e siya sumama sabi ko ay, pag hindi daw niya makita yung charger niya ayun yung kailangan mahanap niya bago siya pupunta sa ano magulalakad o oh, pupunta sa lumakete sabi ko sa kanya naman hi nako Axel sabi ko hindi ka talaga lalakad ang late 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 na natin tapos ano dahil lang sa charger sa charger hindi ka lalakad I mean here rather talaga na ma ano ma importante talaga yung charger mo sa'yo kaysa passport ng anak mo kasi hindi ka talakad na hanggang di mo makikita yung charger mo sabi ko sa kanya yun nagalit daw hindi ko daw sila siya kinakampanyaan kasalanan ba daw niya na kinuha yung charger niya sabi ko dapat alam niyo naman yung ta mga tao dito nga kahit anong sab kahit sabihan mo man talagang dapat kinikip mo yan no wag kahit saan saan so ganyan kahit sya sya kinakampihan mo sila hindi mo talaga ako kinakampihan Tumingin. sabi ko alam niyo naman mga tao dito no sabi ko sa kanya sya ano sabi ko sa kanya ihatid niya ako kasi sa lungsod ayaw naman din niya magpahatid niya ako kasi nga galit daw ako sa kanya sino hindi magagalit niyo na mas importante pa, importante pa yung charger kaysa anak niya no? nang late na late nga tayo hindi nga namin alam kung meron bang boat papunta pa kasi mas kailangan pa talaga niya makita yung charger niya bago siya papunta so yun naglalakad na lang kami ni Lea magka maghihintay kami ng merong motor sabi niya paglalakad ka ka maghibulay na tayo <laughs> sabi ko oh gusto mo gusto mo sa ayaw mong hati di ayaw hindi wag sabi ko sa kanya iriritaan ako guys oh, kasi nagmabalali ako tapos kailangan hanap-hanapin pa yung charger niya meron akong solusyon pupunta tayo ng lungsod tapos tingnan natin itanong natin sa kanila kung meron baka nasa kanila yung charger kung wala babalik tayo dito sabi niya Jesus Christ kasi baka hindi daw siya makahanap ng charger doon sa dumangiti anong kala mo sa dumangiti walang tindahan so here we go guys after you saw me walking right Oh, there we go. Finally, Axel is good. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, but I was walking. You should he... listen to my channel, sir. That's where you get it to. She's lying. She's a lying, lying woman. Because she don't want me to drive. Because he's angry with me. So I walk. But I'm the one who late because there's no motorbike. I was. Then... I was going to pick you up, but you're hiding behind the chapel. How am I supposed to see you? I'm not never like. Oh How am I supposed to do that? I need to look at the road. So, I expect to find her along the road. So I never saw. I said, 
what the heck you're just leaving me and like where did you going i said ah, okay i'm going to find some some motorbike and like that took a long time of course because i need to find a motorbike that i know you know i will not drive some drivers that i don't know them maybe they're driving like crazy yeah you know so me and liam drive in just a uh, uh, the neighbor one, our neighbor, yeah, that's so where I ride in here. So that's where we fight Axel. It's about the charger now, but it's very good when we fight because Axel is very good, you know, it's easy to calm. You know? I just need some time, not like mm -hmm. Jessa, she gets angry, she, she stays angry for three days. I get angry, I'm calmed down in 30 minutes. It's I'm not going three after days, her. It's not really 30 minutes is enough. So look at that. Uh, so we he's telling me back. He's telling me back. I will not come with you. I leave my passport at home. I leave my papers because if we need. She deserves to believe that while we drive here. I said to myself, to, I'm sad, but okay, that's nice too. <laughs> oh really? Oh joking, really? Because <laughs> this fight was just as fault. No, it's about. It really was just as fault. I told you that that. I know that my, I already told my siblings a lot of times but you can't tell them thousands times because they're still not listening now. Yeah, but it's, a, it's I, a problem. I wish I have more money because yeah. like every time what I buy I'm going to buy like flashlight. If I buy flashlight I buy it for, buy for them too so they yeah. will not share. So hopefully we have some money so we can When we have more them. money problem is all because we can buy them everything they need and not have to steal or yeah. stop all the time. But that's not really the solving because we buy them some stuff and they destroy it so fast they cannot take care of their stuff. It's and, so annoying. And it's also... And we, bought, we bought all of them cell phones and uh, the first phone was destroyed after a couple of months and within one year none of them are alive. Me and Jessa, we never do like that. So I, I don't buy them cell phones anymore. I just stopped doing that. I know it's hard guys, no, but what we can do like... I'm myself also I can tell them all this thing, like sometimes that don't borrow this stuff because you know it's a lot sometimes I just let them borrow because next time they will not follow my command too you know yeah so it just needs to be balanced something yeah that that's that's okay but uh, in the end you know what happens yeah if they keep doing it if they never listen in the end we're just gonna leave them high and dry and then then they don't have all the advantages of having, of having us around, right? So I just... Because so Jessa, Jessa is a little bit tired of it. I can manage it, but I am getting upset when they're stealing my brand new stuff. That's, that's annoying. So next time I'm gonna have them some stuff. This was sh The only thing that they always borrowed was slipper and then flashlight. Boots. And then boots. And then like charge. But it's not it's not just that I borrow it. They destroy it while they're borrowing. That's yeah, the problem. That's the important thing. So next time when I we have money we're gonna buy them for 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 that stuff, you know. So they can have it. When we have money, we will buy them everything they need. And when it gets destroyed again, and we, we will, will be move away. No, when it's destroyed we tell them you cannot borrow everything. Because soon we will have a door in our room because Mama gonna build a um, door yeah. for you know in fiesta so people will not you know in, in Filipinos even Daddy. though your house especially when your house don't have door they'll just come inside in your room Daddy. and just yeah. yeah just lay down in there that's not uh -huh. happening so that's why my mom said that's not happening that's we need to we have two more valuables right yeah so okay we're going <laughs> to the Maggette back going to the Maggette for Leo's passport Yay! so we're gonna finally tomorrow you're gonna have passport nah so let's go outside guys so, so the boat price pala sa Sorrento car is um 965 free to I guess passengers. this is uh, this is the next size price, like probably 1100 for the van. A service like 916 and 1100 maybe for a van. Because the van is the biggest, right? Just one size bigger than that, ours. That? That dog, yeah. And the one that is uh, like, like the ones you wanted to buy first. Ah, 
the one with the long at the back? Yeah, and those ones probably a little bit more expensive because that's the biggest ones, right? Yeah, cool. Hindi you guys ganito, may uh, why no? Mag pagbumalikan rin naman ng madali lang naman. <laughs> Medyo mag uh, palagi kami nag-away sa mga maliit na bagay ba. <coughs> daddy, daddy. Daddy, go to daddy. No, no. Ah, to si Liam. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Robinson the AP guys. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some to fill up already the paper. So I already have the paper for tomorrow and make sure the requirements are perfect. Yeah. So I don't have a trouble for tomorrow. No, because when the papers are when you are lack of papers it's very hard. Like you're running away, you need to print this, print that, oh, photocopy yeah. this, photocopy that. Then we can that. just prepare before we come back here tomorrow. Yeah, that's why it's you just go there tomorrow and then like you're cool. Feed give food to Liam before we go there and then just sit down in there waiting for your time and then you know, to make it quick. Yeah. So yep. So here we go, Domagetti, and after before that, we're going to find some local food. Local food for now because cheaper, save money. <laughs> Not I, only because of that, I actually want local food. Me too. And also, local food are fast, already been cooked during the week. <laughs> yeah, local food is what you can eat all the time. Like a burger or stuff, you get tired of, right? Yeah. I have no problem buying just a big burger today, but I'm not gonna have. Because I'm not in good man. shape, and uh, when I'm not in shape, all I want is some soup or some vegetables. I'm trying to eat 
little and you give me a bulk so it's been like how many days what? gonna have some set of snack how many days my I'm dieting already been one week oh I start dieting when Axel went to <coughs> oh that's why you gained so much weight I never gained mm -hmm. I've been lost oh yeah Ooh. We have to get a scale so Jessa don't have to be so delusional. <laughs> I'm fat and I know it. You're not fat. I'm taking care of you. I feed you so good food. Anna. I'm no fatter than when I met Jessa. Just older so things a little bit more saggy. Hanging more. Hanging getting more. more weight on my tummy, right? Yeah. My arms getting thinner and my tummy getting bigger. bigger. <laughs> my muscles going away. So I wanna do something about it. Because you never like myself. work like that in Norway. In Norway, before you like carrying a lot of stuff. So yeah, in Norway, my work day was basically uh, like going to the gym, right? Yeah. So yes, I run some companies and I spent a lot of time in the office. But also, I spend a lot of time carrying stuff. I even help him. And heavy stuff too. I even help him carrying guys. Yeah. That's how good I am. Yeah. Like if 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 the if I can work in Norway, if people gonna like the worker of Axel going to pay me for the work, I can be work with Axel carrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, three yeah. months, I have a lot there of money. There are always uh, things you can do. Like when we go back to Norway now, it's very easy work, like carrying. I'm thinking of uh, taking a car from uh, life, and uh, in return for the car, we do some uh, moving jobs around the country, and we just go visit the country that way, right? Yeah. He pays some fuel. He take care of the car, and he get free labor, and we get free car and. I think that's a pretty good deal. Very good. Yeah, that's what friends are for. We help each other out. Yeah. It's nice knowing so many people who are running company. Because there's always, I do this for you, you do this for me. Money don't have to be involved. It's a lot of things that you can do in our way. Oh yeah. What about if you if you gonna apply a job in Norway? Do you need to like I need to do these requirements? It's almost impossible for Philippines to get a job in Norway now because uh, orange country. You have green, yellow, orange, and red. When I met you, you just gone back from yellow to orange. Remember why, right? Yeah. So because many girls never coming back. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, I like 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 there, if there's a like Norwegian man visited Philippines and meet someone and then we're just calling it like friends and then the man will gonna tell to the girl to visit his country just just a visitor no of, that's not it you forgot it right well, I tell you yeah I already know oh, yeah the other one oh yeah like they're working as um like maid I out pair yeah a au pair and then and then they take the husband away, away they, from the wife oh, yeah, and the, awesome. the girls just stay. Yeah, it's like It stealing. happens a lot. <laughs> it's like they're working and then after that they're like snake, having snake, snake. Oh yeah. Taking husbands. So a lot of Philippine girls are really, really beautiful and exotic looking and exciting for a Norwegian man. Yeah, because they're tired of their own color. It's just Philippines, they're tired with your brown, so they're looking yeah, for a white. Yeah, something thing. new, something ex something exotic, something exciting. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, men start to think with the uh, lower head and the uh, wife goes away and the girl stays. That's basically what happens. <laughs> and that happens so many times that uh, back to orange, because the girls never go back as agreed. And some people also visiting and get married there? Not possible. You can't. The Norway made a rule now. You can't go to Norway and apply for a citizenship while you are in Norway. You have to apply while you are in 
Yep. Your, in your country, yeah. So that means when uh, that happens with the girls up here, they have to go back to Philippines. But they get their marriage papers and everything and they come back so that that's not a problem. The problem is that it happens, it ruins families. So, there, yeah, tell us. Cheap yeah. here. 73. I wouldn't exactly say cheap. We used to pay 43, remember? That's 30 pesos more per liter. That's not cheap. Better than 80, you know? Yeah, it's better than, but doesn't mean that it's cheap. I paid 73 too, when I drove back in the cheap gas station. So guys, remember that. That's why we're orange, because very sneaky. Oh, very sneaky. Supposed to be these good Catholic girls, but after living here so long, I know better. My <laughs> God, I know better. How many minutes? I'm still getting checked up. When I was in the city, now I think I got checked up by at least five or six girls. What are they? But the, the most interesting is, so mm. it starts. They start saying, "Hello, hi. hi. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? Yeah, where's your wife?" And I'm. Ah, she's back in the mountain and I'm here in the city and it took five seconds and you know what that girl did? What? She was not one of those who sent me explicit photos because that happens too but uh, five seconds after that and ring 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 webcam, calling. webcam yeah webcam yeah. calling and then I hang up I hang up uh -huh, uh -huh. you hang up huh? Oh, I can prove it tell the truth <laughs> maybe you did it Where's the other one? Next, next! I have Philippine girls sending me photos of their privates when they hear that Jessa is not around. It's quite sad actually. You should save it so I can like vlog it. Yeah, we could do that and just blur the photos a little bit. And we can do that. Blur their name. That should probably... That should probably stop them from doing it. Because it's nice to have attention from a lot of girls. But I'm a married man. I shouldn't have attention from a lot of girls. Shouldn't have. Or else I'm gonna cut your balls now. And it's a very simple actually. If my marriage with Jessa is failing, we are still going to maybe not live together, but uh, we're going to do stuff together. We're gonna raise the boy together. And I'm not gonna enter a new relationship. I'm done with girls. If, if Jessa is not it, there's nobody. You so, sure of that? Uh, maybe you just say I was, it now. I was done with girls before I met Jessa. I was single for six, seven, eight, seven years before I met Jessa. Six? Yeah, something like that. And I had a couple of girls that was interested, but I wasn't interested in them. Only Marlene interested in you, I. She was very interested. She that's, was highly that's, interested. That's what do you do, Juan Juan? I didn't want Marlene. She's Bad shit crazy. My shit crazy. Yeah. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Maybe you just said, oh, I'm tired with the girls for now. Like one month later, oh my god, I need I need some girls now. I need something. Need some playtime doesn't mean I need a, <clears throat> a girlfriend. Mm. It's a big difference. If I'm single, I'm still married to you. And nothing gonna, nothing gonna stop that we're raising our boy together. But I'm not gonna go into a new relationship either. That's just, I'm very, I was very happy as a single guy. Jessa is the only girl who could trick with the marriage. Cool. She was really sneaky. <laughs> what she did? She's saying a lot of things not not happening. And, uh, <laughs> and you know. If I go back to be single at some point, because you know there's an age difference, just I might get tired, maybe want some younger guy. I don't really know. You never know the, the future. <laughs> maybe we have a big fight and we never recover from it. You, you never know. We do fight sometimes. So if it happens, it's not the end of the world because we're still gonna remain friends and we're still gonna raise our boy together. And I'm not gonna bring any other girls into his or or Jessa's life, it's gonna be just me. What I do behind the locked doors is none of your business. Oui. If I'm not with you. It's my business. <laughs> <coughs> oh. If you girls... But 
I'm so pretty sure like you are really if we are gonna if we are gonna leave each other if you are right like it's because Jess are tired of me not the other way around no it's just it's you because you're always running away I'm so angry yeah because I need some time up you yeah. know we, we live we live upon each other all the time we work yeah, together like, we live with each other going, like, if I'm going away for a week it's a nice break for a relationship like, it needs some time I'm so angry we should, to go start, we should actually start doing things uh, by yourself sometimes. You should actually get, you know, a life, get some friends without accent. Don't what? I don't, don't what? I don't want friends. Don't do the, Friends are fake time, anyway. This time there's no real friends. It's not. You only have friends. You know, when you are, have many, and yeah. friends will take advantage with you, or friends take some of your husband from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually sad, but it's true. Mm, I surrender having friends. Yeah. I have a friend. Yeah, I have a friend, but I was like, mm, okay, just let go of you because I don't need friends right now because you are very terrible. Because asking something and it's okay to ask for once and, you know, trying to maybe, maybe, hoping. And if she an if I answer that I don't have and keep doing it, I get tired. Oh yeah, that was obviously after you met me and she was trying to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, and also yeah. I have more of that that asking me and. Oh yeah, I had uh, two people just last week was in the dock now waiting for the no when yeah. we got off the boat yeah. for two messages, right? Yeah, and someone people asking me money. I, I get uh, probably. 20 people asking if, me money every month. If I'm in rich, of course I will help, but I will not help those those people. It's because I help people that's, you know, it's the, if they really need it, like people that don't have money and their kids been hospitalized like that. Yeah. I, I would help, but if you, like, you need help because mm, you, you don't have something, something, that's different. Basically, in my mind, if you're a single mom and have kids and have no work and no income, you're kind of did bad on your own. You know, it's nothing to be proud of to be a single mom. You should should really not learn other people that that is okay. You should be financially stable or have a husband before you have kids. What if sometimes there? Are sometimes accidents happen, but here in Philippines seems to happen a lot. Sometimes there is there's a lot of men trying to you know yeah. manipulate. So then the girls just say no or use a condom. Problem mm. solved. But some always happen that the men change after they have a baby. Yep. And that's why make sure the relationship is safe before you do something without protection. Problem solved. <laughs> Very easy. We do it all over Europe. Making sure it doesn't happen. It's not so many. It's just very few people that single moms compared to in Philippines. Because in Philly, in Norway, we make so much money, but no single mom can really afford raising a baby alone. That's a horrible hard life. Even if you only have one kid in Norway, you need both of you work. Hard. You need two people working. It's. It's. I'm, I'm telling you, we make so much money, but it's so expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. So, I, as I do feel sorry, it's, it's you put yourself in that situation. It's like and we can't help everybody uh, in that situation. Let's, let's talk about, people said that we should live in Norway because it's better life in there. It's, it's not. not, it's not better life in Norway. It's not better life in any country. It's much harder it, life in Norway. You know actually. what, it's better. If you have, it's it's like money is everything. If you have more money, you can, you live in Philippines. You have a great life too. Oh yeah, uh, it's all about money. Yeah, so we need we need about if we have hundred thousand pesos in or in Philippines, right? Yeah, that's a great that, life. That equals like you, I would say we have to have ten thousand. And Norwegian? No, no, for living in no, that that is uh, eighteen thousand Norwegian. Oh. That's a poor man's salary in Norway. 
but and that's for the whole family, right? Yeah. But for a whole family like this in Norway, you need to have, I would say, five hundred thousand a month to live the same quality life as you do with hundred thousand a month here. Yeah. Uh, the house will be very different than in Norway, but it will be like a luxury house here in Philippines compared to to uh, other houses here. And, and in Norway, you would just have a basically a normal house, a normal car, and you need the now not four hundred thousand, I think, four hundred thousand to have the same quality of life. Yeah, and also you need you need to work like double. Yeah, yeah, you and to get that money, both needs to work and uh, at least and one of you have to do overtime all the time. So in Norway, we're not really working eight hours. A lot of times we work sixteen hours days. Uh, we work much harder in Norway than you do here. I'm so I'm so stunned that I see people here go to work and then and then if you say that ah I'm used to work like 12 to 16 hours a day they don't believe you right? No. They think you're lying. But I have days back in Norway I, I have days where I worked the longest days I have had in Norway is 32 hours work. And I'm not kidding, working 32 hours, just a few meal breaks. And you know those meal breaks, just a, just a quick hot dog in a gas station, yeah? Yeah. And then I go working again. And we do that in Norway. Uh, maybe not 32 hours for more, most people, but 16 hours, very normal. And we can do it for a week in a row, and then a couple of days off, and go work for a while, and then some overtime again. It happens, you need the money, right? Yeah. And in Philippines? It you don't, get, too much. you don't get anyone to work beyond eight hours. Uh, I just don't get it. If you want to get up and ahead in the world, work harder than everybody else. And in Norway, that means, like I did, I need to work harder than everybody else. So I had to work hard and I got up a lot of business. And I, I did good. I did really good when I met Jessa. No. And. Uh, if you, if you want to get up and above in Philippines, I would say just quit those one over breaks and quit having breaks all the time. Just have like a 30 minute lunch and work 10 to 12 hours and do work, not uh, sit and talk half of the time on, or on your phone. And you will do great. You can do great things with just being focused. Because in Philippines, if you work 12 hours a day in Philippines, I believe you can achieve what you need to work 16 to 20 hours Food in Norway for. Oh yeah, you need to eat. So I'm so amazed. I, I've never seen one people in Philippines working more than 8 hours. That's why it's like... You can't get ahead with that. It's all about money when you, you know, when you... In, in Norway is more, you know, a lot of taxes to do, more oh, yeah. higher taxes to pay and everything and you need to pay including the road it's not we, free yeah we're paying taxes in several terms so when we make ten thousand pesos seven thousand go to government and three thousand is left for us that is how much taxes we pay because we pay like 30 to 40 percent in income tax and then we pay like 25 24 25 percent taxes on everything we buy and then we pay special taxes, like 70% taxes for the fuel we buy. So we pay taxes in several times. So seven out of 10 uh, pesos goes to the government. That's how life is in Norway. Very expensive. But we do have free hospital and uh, healthcare and that all really, of that. It's not really But it's free. not really worth it. It's not free. You pay much more by than- By the taxes. Uh, yeah, That's you why you pay have much more by the taxes. taxes. And a lot of people in Norway think that if they pay 34% taxes of their salary, they think they only pay 34% to the government. They don't think about whenever they, after they pay that 34%, you, you have like they buy food, food is only 12%. But uh, if you buy alcohol, tobacco is like 70%, so that's seven out of 10. If you buy de fuel, that's like 50, 60, 70%. Yeah, you have like car bills, phone bills, 
and so many. Oh yeah, and uh, and then you're gonna pay for anything else like clothes, uh, yeah, anything else, car, clothes, motorbike, new bike, new anything. It's twenty five percent. So it adds up. You pay most of the money back to the government again. So you pay. So you make. Hundred and fifty thousand uh, pesos. You uh, sit with like forty thousand. Rest is government's money. So that's why we need to work so hard, make so high income, and uh, yeah, it's great being sick in Norway compared to Philippines, but you pay for it. So if me and Jessa, when I get my dual citizenship here. Which is only delayed a little bit because of so many expenses. So we're, we're gonna have it soon. But when I get that, we're gonna have a private insurance for the whole family, right? Yeah. A good private insurance for me, Jess, and Liam. And then we're safe. Then we're safe here too, right? Yeah. Also. I have no bad feelings about if things come to it to go back and use hospitals in Norway because I do have Norwegian company, I do pay taxes to Norway even if I'm living here so some people mentioned that when I had the cancer scare as long as I pay taxes to my country I feel I'm, I'm in my full rights to get treated in my country too but if you don't pay you don't have uh, free... I don't pay much taxes now because I have only one company left in Norway, right? Yeah. But the rest is run from Philippines internationally. But I have one more company back in Norway and we do pay a little bit taxes on it. Just to not take everything out of the country. I, I wanted to keep something back in Norway. So we've been in Robinson uh, supposed to check, right? Caso there Edelfeter today it says so it's closed so to it says starting tomorrow so yeah I got lucky <laughs> so anyway we're here in the hotel and eh, not hotel I don't, what is this name Axel is this guest 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 house bed and breakfast some bre bread and breakfast call of this yeah so and it took me yeah so brand this place is beautiful very beautiful it's i wouldn't say beautiful but it's okay ah i like this it's a just look at how messy it is on the floor here Come yeah on. so it's beautiful for me so yeah so axel told me to wash the, his boxers and one pants and I one. I never told her to wash my boxer. One pants and. I asked her, "Do you wanna do it, or I do it myself?" Because I'm perfectly able to do it myself, and she said she wanted to. Hey, do it. dramatic! Oh, so that want... I can do it. Dra uh, cause really dramatic that man. I have a washing machine, um, a portable washing machine. I your washing do. machine takes like one hour to finish that four clothes. Mm. It's like, uh, do you want to do it, Jessa? Of. Or I can do so it because so I've, you've been doing it for about twenty minutes now. Twenty and, minutes, uh, yeah. keep running. And you just you know trying to say because I know that I will help him because that's how kind of him and he has no, pain no, on his no, back. No, no, no. So yeah, I can easily. That's do. <laughs> it's the story of that. Don't listen to him. That's you know. So because he's the one who watching Liam, of course. I said okay because he watching Liam. Liam. <laughs> about... Look at that. What happened? Liam found the tissue. Oh, the bad mm. is working. Yeah? It's just one glimpse, and then he's like, "Oh, Liam, what are you doing?" Oh, yes, Liam. Mm. Happy. Happy. Mm. He's happy. Mom and Dad not so happy, but we're not happy. But anyway, it's it's only tissue, guys. <coughs> Hindi naman niya kinakain. Nilalaro lang niya. Tapos ako nilagay pa niya. Oh, oh, he's cleaning after himself. Yeah, it's very sure. good. Let's call it that. <laughs> it's anyway. It's very easy to pick it up. This mess, you know. Yeah. It's just this That is true. It is easy. For now, the Philippines are right to make it sticky. It's water. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> There's no water. Really, <laughs> yeah, perfectly capable of the most amazing things. 
You know, very fast. Yeah. Oh, uh huh. Okay. Okay, Nak. Put that inside. All of that. Put that inside. Okay. Of course, your daddy is very good babysitter anyway. So tomorrow it's another day, and I'm gonna update you about the passport. No people in our workshop the last thirty minutes. So, good. thanks for watching. Until next time. See you. Not see you. Until next time. Love you. Wink. Actually, we're not copy him.